Hi lo folks, Manito here, I hope you're doing good. In this video, I'll be showing you how to manually update Argropolis. I'll even cover how to remove and update plugins that could be broken on the latest Argropolis. If you don't know what Argropolis is, that's okay. But if that's the case, you most likely clicked on the wrong video. Argropolis is, as the GitHub says, a modding framework for loading and managing community-made mods and plugins powered by Skyline for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Not to be confused with Atmosphere custom firmware. I've seen people confuse the two. They are completely different things. Also, Arcropolis does have a built-in updater that will notify you by default when there's a new release, and ask you if you'd like to update straight from your Switch. This is great! But at the time of recording this video, if Nintendo happens to update Smash Ultimate out of the blue, and the update just so happens to break Arcropolis, you won't be able to update Arcropolis from your Switch. The two most recent Smash updates temporarily broke Arcropolis, and if Nintendo decides to drop another random update out of the blue, I expect the same thing to happen. Now, a quick disclaimer before we begin. This guide is intended for users that already have their Switch modded and have a basic understanding of moving files to and from their Switch SD card. If you don't have a modded Switch, check the description for my noob-friendly guide. And before we get started with this tutorial, make sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay notified of future videos, streams, and to support the channel. I noticed most of you that watch these videos are not subscribed, so please subscribe and help build up the channel even more. Thank you for your continued support. I also have a growing community Discord server where you can join to talk with me and other members of the community, or if you need help with mod stuff. Now, let's get started with updating Arcropolis. Connect your Switch SD card to your PC using your preferred method. In this video, I'll be using FTP, Wireless File Transferring, to move files to my SD card. Open up your browser and search up Arcropolis GitHub. Click here, ray2 forward slash Arcropolis GitHub. Scroll down and click Releases. On the releases page, the latest release will always be at the top. Whenever you're updating anything, I recommend taking a quick glance at the patch notes, just in case there's any useful info. At the time of recording, the latest version is version 4.0.6, and was released on October 14th, 2024. If there's a newer release when you are following the guide, that's okay. The process is still the same unless stated otherwise here on the patch notes or in the Arcropolis wiki. I'll also leave some additional info in a pinned comment or in the description if anything changes in the update process. Click release.zip to download it, open it, and extract it. Inside of the extracted release folder, you will see an atmosphere folder. Open your Switch SD card and move the Atmosphere folder from the Release folder to the root of your SD card. Replace any files when prompted. And that's all you'll have to do to update Arcropolis. If your mods are working again, great! No need to continue with the video. If your game is freezing after booting or after selecting certain characters, and it wasn't doing this before, you may have outdated plugins. On your SD card, open the Atmosphere folder Contents, Title ID folder, ROMFS, Skyline, and Plugins folders. If you are using plugins like Smashline or the One Slot Effect plugin, you need to update those or remove them if they don't currently support the most recent Smash update. I'll leave a link in the description to a Game Banana page that shows plugins that have been updated. Now I won't be going over installing every plugin, but I'll be using One Slot Effect plugins as an example on how to update your plugins. Download the latest One Slot Effects. At the time of recording, it's for version 13.0.3. .3. Open it and extract it. Open SD card, Atmosphere, Contents, Smash Title ID folder, ROMFS, Skyline, and Plugins. Now move lib one slot F and RO to the plugins folder on your SD card. 
replace the old with the new when prompted, and there you go. You now have the latest one slot effect plugin. Do this with any other plugins that might need updating, or remove certain plugins that aren't yet updated, and your game should load up just fine. And that is all for the video, I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe for more content. Shout out to my channel members, thank you so much for your support, and thank you for your support and watching until the end. On the left you'll see a playlist for Switch Mod tutorials, and on the right a video that YouTube recommends for you. I highly recommend checking out the other Switch modding guides, there's some cool stuff in there. And hey, let me know if there's something you would like to see me cover. Have a good day, good night, whatever time you're watching this, and God bless. Fox Christie. See ya!